Garrett J. White, the authentic entrepreneur, coming at you real, coming at you raw, and coming at you relevant. And this, my friends, is the Daily Download. Now, we're here, we're talking about a principle today that's going to blow your mind. But before we do that, you know how we roll around here. We got to use the power clap, not the snap anymore. We've upgraded in order to bring about the chart, the handy dandy flip chart. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, let me get focused. So here we're on principle number four here in the Pay to Play Academy, which is possibility expands choice. I was raised in a family in which money itself was not something we talked a lot about when it came to having a lot of it. Um, I got $50 for school clothes every single year. I love my parents to death. And in my space, with what I wanted in that time, that was enough to pay for one Air Jordan tennis shoe. Because I needed two Air Jordan tennis shoes, and two Air Jordan tennis shoes were $100. So what I did is I would get $50 from my mom, I would get $50 from my grandma, and I'd go to school naked. No. I actually had a paper out. But one of the things that was interesting about money my whole life growing up is I never had a concept of a lot of it. Not even the remote possibility of a lot of it. And it was interesting because my choices and what I saw as available to me to make money and what I saw as available and possible for my life was dictated by the kind of money that I thought I could have. So my ultimate goal in life as growing up as a kid was to do one of two things, be a professional football player or to be a doctor. So I got a scholarship to Boise State University on the path to getting to the NFL, at least I thought. I get to Boise State University and they say, what do you want to take in college credit? And I said, well, you know what? I want to be a doctor. And they expand this whole list of, hi, you get to go to school for 732 years. And I was like, eh? and I was like, that sucks. I want to be a doctor. And they said, well, you got to do something. I said, well, I'll be a fireman. They said, you don't have to go to college to be a fireman. I was like, great. What am I going to do then? And so I got a degree in kickball. Yes, I am a PE teacher. And as Jack Black says, those who can't do teach and those who can't teach, well, they teach PE. That was this guy. So anyways, I'm in college and I'm playing football. Football ends for me and I can't make, I'm not making any more money. Right? Cancer happens, divorce happens, life happens. And then a friend of mine introduces me to mortgages. And all of a sudden, I entered this world of money about 10 years ago that radically changed my possibility of what I saw for my life. My choices expanded with this too. See, it's amazing when you go from $1,200 a month as a broke PE teacher to being someone making 10 to 15 to $20,000 a month. Literally, where you eat, the movies you go to, right? Instead of taking my wife to the Del Taco and splitting a $1 taco and then going to a dollar movie on a 50 cent night, which is everybody gets to go for 50 cent and sitting in a theater where they call it Coliseum theating, but really you're like smelling the gas of the person behind front of you and you're like, this sucks. But see, when you're in the suckness, you don't know. And what you see is choices available to you are limited. And as possibility comes into your life, as things begin to expand, and for me with money, as money started to come into my life, it wasn't that I fell in love with money, it's that I fell in love with the possibilities that expanded with my choices. And that these choices I could make expanded with what I saw as possibilities in my life. See, in your life and my life, everything about what we see in our choices is dictated by what we see as possible. And if we precede this with power, certainty, and permission activates potential, this entire game is about creating more choices. And my experience of life is that we were put here to make choices, and some of the big ones, at least in marriage for me, are this. We debate about money, and we debate about sex and intimacy. And I just pretty much have experienced that with just about everybody I talk to in marriage. Those are like the two big games. Maybe religion and spirituality is in the top three, and kids, and there you go, round out your top five. So in that game, though, money is an issue. And money either expands possibility or it doesn't. And so look at your life right now. When you look at the possibilities that you're creating, how has it when you created more possibilities, how does this expand your choice? When new results show up into your life and show you that it's possible or you see it show up in somebody else's life, how does this expand your choice? Because I know what it's done for mine and I know what it does for our students every single day at the Pay to Play Academy. My name is Garrett J. White and this has been The Daily Download. (laughs) 